Stock picking is always tricky, even when you find two companies with stable business models and solid client bases. It's worth remembering, only fools rush in. Fiserv and Jack Henry are two wide mode bank technology companies. Uh, the foundation of their business is what's called core processing. This is the most b basic day-to-day -day system the banks use to, to operate their business. As a result, uh, these customers are incredibly sticky. Uh, the average bank retains this core processing system for about 30 years on average. Uh, these companies then leverage these essentially captive relationships to cross-sell a bunch of ancillary services such as electronic bill payment or online banking. Uh, as a result, you have a very stable business model with about 85% of revenue recurring under long-term contracts. Uh, this uh, you know, served them very well during the crisis. Uh, even during the depths of the crisis, uh, you know, Fiserv and Jack Henry were, were able to maintain basically flat revenue. Uh, in years since, we've seen a gradual improvement uh, in growth. Uh, and recently, I, we've seen a bit of an uptick and a, and a, a bit of momentum. Uh, but you know, I think while these are very wide mode, uh, stable companies, uh, I think investors looking at the stock today uh, would be facing a different type of risk, which is the valuation risk. Uh, I think the market price in these stocks implies a continued improvement in growth rates, which I'm not sure is necessarily realistic. Uh, I think both companies are operating at what I would consider fairly close to kind of normalized rates, and, and these are the rates that I think they can sustain even in a favorable environment. Ultimately, the the growth rates that these companies can achieve. Uh, are limited by the fact that they serve a very mature industry. Uh, as a result, uh, both stocks look a little richly valued to me at this point, um, and you know investors might want to wait, wait for a better opportunity.